Gary talks. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about our like society's emphasis on always having it together. Like, right? Like, always skin has to be ooh, makeup beat, stomach flat, mm, everything pressed and tucked and ironed and hair laid and eyebrows ooh. Like, everything has to be sleek and mm, and good. And it's like, why? That's not who we are. We're rough ass people, rough around the edges, head ass, okay? When you find crystals, like, here, I have one in here, right? Right? It's smooth and pretty. And also, it'd be, it be mad jagged and stuff on sides, right? And it's still beautiful. And it's like, it's so annoying to have this feeling of like always having to have it together. I'm feeling this because I was thinking about my last video. Like, why did you share that, Gary? And I'm like, why not? Because we always share these videos of like us having it together. Yes, we look to YouTube, right? I'm here. I don't want to see people suffering. I would like to get advice. I would like to, if I'm looking up a particular thing, I want to see the thing. You know, that's cool. <laughs> so that I can learn the way that I want to learn. And also, like, the editing has to be, like, hmm. And if it's not good, I don't like it. And, like, Instagram has to be curated to be... It's just, like, who... I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not gonna do that. Why don't we have emphasis on people just living their lives? And the thing is, we always love to see a good person live in their life. Like, a good speaker is somebody who's on the stage, like, has a presence that just moves around and is speaking their truth. You love that because they don't give a fuck and they're in their shit. And, it, and it's just, like, weird that somebody who knows their shit, so, like, I know myself, I know my core, I know my heart, I know my values, right? I know what I'm about. I might not know exactly what I want, but I know what I'm about. Right, and I know that I'm connected to source. I know that I have OD angels and ancestors. I'm connecting to them, so I'm good. All is well, but that doesn't mean that I'm always in a positive mood, or that I never cry, or that I don't get skin things. It's just like weird. Like even when people cry, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good." Like, why are we always trying to be good? Bruh, in this world that's so fucking bad like it's i don't want to say bad in terms of all negative right but there is a, there is a lot of bad in the world why are we trying to focus on being good so much why don't we make sense of the bad maybe it can stop being bad and it can just be something different i get that we're in a society where horrible things happen and there's a lot of bad things around us and so we pride ourselves on not being those things and thus we want to be good and also we are bad sometimes we do bad things sometimes we're not always good like i remember seeing um this post that people were the caption that was on instagram like we are black men we don't break down other men and women we raise up the community and the same thing for women too and it's like but i've seen you break people down in fact, I have been broken down by you. So what are you talking about? Why are we always trying to hold on to this like, I've never hurt anybody. Oh, you have hurt people. First of all, you hurt your mama coming out. I'm like, obviously that's funny, right? But also like we hurt people often and all the time, intentionally and unintentionally. Sometimes in saying what you want or something you don't want, you hurt somebody's feelings. And it's not like you're a horrible person because you hurt their feelings, but you did do that, right? And it's like, they're not good after that right now. But it is all good, right? We're all, it's all good ultimately, but it's like, who the fuck cares because there's something that's happening right now. Like in terms of, I think so many, I think this happens a lot in relationships where like, oh, but like, we're good, even though there's a lot of shit, like we're good though, right? We're good. It doesn't matter if we're good or not. We got, we got things we need to talk about. And it, it's just so weird, too, because I feel like, for instance, if I have nothing good to say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. First of all, nice means stupid, y'all. Look it up. Nice comes from the Latin nescio, to not know. Ignorance is to be nice. So, fuck out of here with that. But also, like, if you don't have anything, what, positive to say, don't say it at all? Really? And there's days where I really don't feel like saying anything because it's not like I don't have anything nice or positive or nice to say, but I have, it's not like what I have to say is necessarily uplifting. It's just raw as to where I'm at. But then I'm like, are people always going to be like, oh, there goes Gary, where you're always feeling all crazy and bad and, bruh, this is how I feel. 
<laughs> it's just like, I, I feel very conflicted about the Instagram scene, the YouTube scene, the like just wanting to be so sculpted and perfected all the time. Like I'm not a I'm not a I'm not I'm only an expert on myself. I'm not an expert on breakups, right? I'm not an expert on emotionality, on emotional management, on spirituality. I can only say the things that I have done. And my journey has not been perfect, so I can only speak on myself and my experiences. Which is a very imperfect journey. A very deeply flawed, mistake-riddled, painful, suffering, and beautiful journey. And that is my journey, and that is my truth, you know? And it's just like, it's very irritating to see folks working so hard to be like... Uh, and sometimes me falling into that feeling like a thing has to be like, to be perfectly put, like... The the per, the, uh, the pattern told me, when you find yourself caught in perfectionism, you're on the wrong path. And I was like, yeah, yikes. because <laughs> that was a good call out because I find myself being so caught up in the minute details of wanting everything to look perfect, of things want of wanting things to look a particular, show up a particular. I have to have the right thing to say. All of, and it's just like no, like can we just be raw? Not hurtful, but, like, if you got something on your heart, can we just say it? Instead of, like, let me figure out the best way to tell you that I don't really want you here. Sometimes you're just gonna be like, yo, I don't want you here, bro. You're not my best friend. I don't like those shoes. I really didn't like when you said that. And there's no, there's, yes, there's, like, nicer ways to land it softer, right? And also, like, I don't want to be with you. There's not a, any nice way to say I don't want to be with you. Or you really hurt me. Oh yeah, and you kind of, you know, it, it like when you did this thing, it made me feel. You can say that, yes, that way, and also like at the end of this day, the statement is that hurt. And how are we gonna have a conversation about hurt, right? We don't really, because we're on this society, like, oh, don't hurt nobody, okay? If you get hurt, you know, that's bad. So then we don't actually deal with hurt. We never learn how to deal with the hurt. We try to figure out how to tell somebody that we're hurt. We try to figure out how to listen to somebody when they're telling us that they're hurt. And so where's the space for the actual hurt to be healed, addressed, loved on, transformed into something different? Just like, I don't know. I'm just having thoughts. It took me a really long time to record this. I re-recorded it in different bits. But like, this is just what's on my heart. I'm just real tired of like, the fluff, of the, the polish, of the, the, the filters. Like, just be real, bro. 